could you tell me a little bit about who you are and um, um, who you're representing here today? Okay, my name is uh, Bert de Poren. I'm a Dutchman, but I work with uh, UN Habitat in uh, Nairobi, which is a UN agency that deals with urban development. At the same time, I'm also vice chair of UN Water, and we led the consultation on uh, the thematic consultation. We were a partner, and we were doing wastewater there. So we do two heads I'm here in uh, beautiful Lake. Okay, could you tell me a little bit about, because you let the, you're a part of the consultation, what is your vision for the post-2015 agenda, specifically for water? Now, yeah, we all agree that we need, we need one goal. Yeah? We have to, uh, although we had three streams, but wastewater, water quality, drinking water, uh, integrated water resource management, water resources, is all the same. So we should not divide ourselves, we make sure that we want sustainable development goal for water. Okay, and um, what have been some of the discussions that you've been hearing here t here today? Now the discussions are along the outcome of those thematic consultations, and they're ongoing now, so I don't have yet uh, the outcome of the deliberations. But uh, I think the, the, the organizers really have done a good job by uh, by organizing this conference and making sure that we get the political commitment for all the nice words we are saying. Okay, and um, the theme of Water World Water Day this year is Water Cooperation. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Yeah, um, uh, what's your vision on water cooperation, especially, and what's your role as UN Habitat in, in, in cooperation? Ah, as UN Habitat, okay. First of all, as you know, World Water Day, this every year is a different theme, and then uh, then we say, okay, which agency can best fit the whole this whole theme? And of course, the agency also needs some money, etc., some power. So UNESCO came forward and internationally of cooperation because they have science, technology and so on. They have a big hydrology program. So they, they really volunteer to be the main organizer. Uh, so for it changes every year. So this year UNESCO, but it seems of course what cooperation, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very good one. Um, so uh, do you have some ideas on how cooperation uh, could be strengthened? Yeah, of course you have to, there will be, a, uh, you have cooperation between stakeholders between North and South, there are so many ways of cooperation, everybody thinks of course about transboundary rivers, which is of course a rather obvious uh, way of uh, international of cooperation, but it's also uh, between the sectors in the water sector and the outreach. We are doing a habitat, we are doing a program on water operators, which is uh, helping good utilities supporting not so good utilities and it can be south south it can be north south <coughs> where you see that those utilities by working together uh, is uh, are getting really improving their performance so that's uh, that's also a very nice uh, uh, yeah, example of what how what cooperation can looks like okay and um uh, could you share with me some of the uh, challenges to water cooperation that you maybe have experienced in your work uh, uh, no, yeah, challenges, uh, there is challenges, uh, okay, the transboundary rivers, these are challenges. I live myself in Bangladesh and uh, Bangladesh gets the Ganges and the Brahmaputra coming in, uh, enormous rivers, and uh, it's coming out of India. So India could do some storage, also especially Nepal could do some storage, you know, they, they construct dams there with the electricity and, and control the flooding. But, in, but there is no real cooperation between these three countries. So there are challenges which, which are lying there. And uh, so, uh, and we have to, do, to deliver, but we have good examples. We have the Nile Basin and so on. So we, can be, we know it can be done. So these videos uh, today are being shared with the whole world. So everybody knows what's going on here in The Hague on World Water Day. And uh, today on the uh, multi-stakeholder dialogue. Is there something that you else want to share about what's happening here today? Oh yeah, we've given our input on especially for, for wastewater and uh, I think we are happy that wastewater is now finally on the agenda. Uh, so we are being mentioned in Rio, it's a Rio plus 20 outcome uh, document. So the Prince Warren has done a great job there. Unscap has really been, uh, been putting a lot of attention to, to, uh, to wastewater. Now wastewater deals also with sanitation, that's another thing which is very important. And wastewater also deals with new challenges, new opportunities, because we, we know we are living in an urbanizing world, uh, cities will grow, so if you can use those waste, that wastewater and use it as a resource, you know, that's, that's also an inspirational goal, and I, but that's why it fits very well in a sustainable development goal which we hopefully are going to define over the coming years. Okay. Thank you very much for this interview. Okay.